Hi guys, I'm Spawn Alexis and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are joined with the fireplace because we're being fancy today. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about five tips to saving money in college. So let's get started. <music> saving money in college we all know like we are all poor college kids and just that's the life we have to live can't change it um, especially if you don't work it can be really hard to save money so I just have some tips for you that you can implement into your daily life to you know rack up some dollars so my first tip and my favorite one is to download the app acorn so let's say that I spend a dollar twenty five Acorn is going to take that 75 cents and save it. It's going to round up every single one of your purchase to an even number and it's going to collect that money and save it. You can see on the app all of the money that you have collected from roundups and it also takes every $5 you get from roundups and invests it into stocks to make you more money. It's a great app. It's completely free. All you do is link your cards use your cards and you are saving money and it's the best thing ever because you don't even have to think about it it just does all the work for you i will leave my link down below so i get five dollars and you get five dollars if you use the link my second tip is to have a savings account i have usaa so i could literally just open a savings account on my phone didn't even have to leave my bed and then it was there and ready to use and all I do is just every paycheck that I get, I just put, you know, like $25 or $50 in my savings account to have. I'm currently trying to save up for my cruise in May and I'm getting my hair done um, this weekend. <laughs> and it honestly does not take that long. Especially, just put a few dollars into your savings account every time you get money and it'll add up way quicker than you think. My third tip is for those people who don't have cards and use cash. Always save your change. I'm the type of person where I never like really have cash. So if, so if I do, I do use like my coins. But if you don't use your coins, because I used to, I used to never use coins. Like I would be like a penny, like get it out of here. Like I would not use it. I'd be like, no, I'm not giving someone change at a cash register. Like that's weird. I don't know why. But if you're like that, or if you just have a lot of change because you always have cash, keep your change and save it because it adds up really quick like and from two purchases you can have a whole dollar in change from just two purchases i literally have change sitting on my bed right here like that i need to put somewhere this is literally 60 cents <laughs> i couldn't count 60 cents that will be a dollar i mean i always keep change in my consoles in my car like there's change everywhere and you will always have it and if you just collect it all and keep it and let it grow and gather or whatever it will add up really quickly is that my third my fourth tip is to be frugal don't spend a lot of money on things that you don't really need, okay? Like, this shirt was from Goodwill, and this shirt was like $3. Like, it was cute, and I wanted it, so I got it, but it was really cheap, so I didn't feel bad about buying it. Don't buy things that are super expensive if you don't really need them. My fifth tip kind of ties into my fourth one, which is don't spend money. <laughs> my first semester of college, I went to McDonald's almost every single day don't eat mcdonald's for one don't go out to eat especially in college we all have a meal plan and we all have to have one so use it my first semester i did a 10 meal per week meal plan because i was like i don't like the food here and i'm not gonna eat it and then i ate out every single day now i have a 19 meal plan which means i have three meals a day every single day and two and four meals on the weekends so i eat here every single day and though it may not be good all the time it's better than going out and spending my money in my wallet to buy food when I can get it here for basically free because you already paid for it. 
Also, just because you think you need something doesn't mean that you actually do. You think that you need a new pair of black leggings because your old ones have a hole in it, but really you have four other pairs of leggings and 10 pairs of jeans. So do you really need those black pair of leggings? No. Think about the things before you purchase them. Like, do I really, really, really need this or can it wait until later? Those are all of my tips for today. If you have any tips for saving money, leave them down below because I'm always looking for new ways. Your girl is broke and your girl needs money. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!